Is there an ideological agenda? The Biden administration calls this the liberal world order, or is this all incompetence? What's your take on that? Because it seems as if they're willing to break the back of American strength to try to usher in some form of a, le a form of government that we've never lived through or under. Being in Washington, D.C., can, can you help make sense of that for me? Yeah, I've, I've been saying for a long time, uh, you know, there's no doubt that the Biden administration is incompetent, but, but that's being way too kind. You know, these policy disasters, the results of these policies are, are exactly that. They are the result of their policies. This, this is purposeful. They have an open border. They have massive deficit spending that they knew would create inflation. Uh, you know, their own economic advisors were warning against that. But their war on fossil fuel is designed to drive up the cost of gasoline and energy to force us all into electric vehicles and wind and solar power, even though we don't have the rare earth minerals. Uh, we, we, we're not mining enough copper to uh, real, even produce all the electric vehicles and the, the wind towers and everything else that we would need. So th their policies are designed on fantasies. They're not grounded in reality. Uh, but they sound good, and, of course, they're backed up by the complicit mainstream media. So, no, I, I think their policies are absolutely designed to have the impact they're having. They just don't want to be held accountable for it, but they rely on the mainstream media not to hold them accountable. And it's so dangerous to be dealing with an entire political party that lives in a fantasy or imagination world because then there's no counter to their failure because they'll just say their failure is actually a success. And, Senator, that's, that's a changing of the guard, isn't it? I mean, the old Democrat Party 20 or 30 years ago did at least admit that high gas prices open borders and a destruction of a dollar. Like, well, that's a bad thing. Now we're being told, no, it's actually a wonderful thing. I mean, it, it's maddening for those of us that don't live in Washington, D.C. I can only imagine what it's like in, um, you know, in the Senate to have to deal with this, where people say, well, actually, the good news about high gas prices is we get to have all these electric vehicles. 